Aloha everyone, my name is Kyra Santos and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about pirate ship video 4 and that's talking about printing your shipping labels and taking them over to the post office or having the United States Post Office pick up your package for you. We'll wrap up video with pulling reports. So set sail and let's go. So another feature that I want to show you on the home page is this. Now that you actually generated your label, what are some of the options to actually print it or manage it? So as you can see here, this is my only label that I created. It gives that status right here, refund pending. But it actually, if I didn't refund it, it would have given like in transit or delivered. You can also view the details, but here's the tracking number as well and the date you generated the label. Now, if you have multiple labels to choose from, so what I did was actually duplicated a label. And um, as you can see, here's the status, ready to print, because I didn't even print it, right? And then when I drop it off, it'll eventually be in transit and then delivered. So just know that this one was refunded, so I actually don't have the option to print the label, but here's the options that you have. If you only have one label to print, you can just go ahead and click this, print label, and it'll walk you through the steps. So here's what it looks like. Now, if you wanna print multiple labels, you can do that as well. So each non-refunded label, you'll have the option to actually click on this side right here. So if you have multiples going down, you can actually click on those check boxes and it'll give you the total here. So then all you have to do, so let's just say you had five that you checked, one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll say print five label. Once you click this print five label, it'll take you over to a, a document. All you have to do is download it. So it downloads to PDF and then you'll see all five labels and then you just print it from there. Such a nifty feature. Now you can also do end of day as well. So if you click end of day here, it'll give you the option to create a scan form. So maybe let's just say you had like 30 packages you wanted to take over to the post office and it's like, oh man, they have to scan each package. So if you create a scan form, what it normally does, it actually creates a scan barcode for your actual post office. So they only have to scan one time and then all your 20 packages will be loaded in the system. You'll also have access to all 20 labels from here as well and you can print it as well. This also is another feature, your schedule pickup. If you actually click on that, just know pickups are handled by your local post office. Your regular letter carrier will attempt to pick up your packages when they drop off your mail. So just remember you can specify a time. Um, they do offer something that is actually a little bit more costly. If nobody shows up, the only way to find out why is to speak with your local post office. Now let's talk about scheduled pickups. The first field is going to be the package location. So the common areas are front door, you can do garage, you can do side door. So that's what you would put in that field. You're going to also estimate how many packages you have for each service. So if you have priority mail, you have express, first class, and so forth. Then you're going to estimate the total weight. So all your packages combined, what is the total weight that you can estimate for your packages? So to make a long story short, I actually did this request pickup and I actually left my packages at my front door. And it sat actually there for two days. But what had happened was I actually live in a community shared mailbox area. So I ended up receiving a letter in my mailbox stating that they're unable to fulfill this service. So do your due diligence, either talk to your postal service, whether it's going into the office or talking with one of the postal office workers. Um, or even their postman or postwoman that delivers your mail, or you can actually just chance it and leave your packages out there and send the request pickup. So although I can't actually take advantage of this request pickup, I still enjoy going to the post office, dropping off my packages, not having to wait in line and just dropping it right in the bin. So this is a win-win situation no matter what. Not only are you saving money, but you're saving time as well. So let's go ahead and click request pickup. And now we're going to move over to reports. If you click on reports on the far left, you'll go ahead and get this home screen. So in blue, you'll see different options. You'll see today. It has a calendar type, and that's actually how you can actually search the different reports based on the different time frame. So as you can see, there's today, yesterday, the last seven days. You can even do the last 30 months, the month prior. You can do the year. So there's so many options. And once again, whatever you choose, the data will be pulled based on that. So we'll use today as an example. 
And as we're scrolling through, you can see there's an account balance. Remember, if you actually add credit to your account, you'll see it here. And this is to avoid those mini transactions. So once again, you can apply like $100 to your account. And then all those mini transactions will just be taken from the balance. Let's scroll a little bit down and we're going to see more information like pending returns. That's self-explanatory. We also have pending refunds as we stated those refunding labels before. The total shipping cost. So that's actually just for today. Once again, that's what we're capturing. The average cost for my packages were $3.47. And then also it has the total of my packages that I shipped out that very day, which was 13 Yay, there's no delivery issues, so there's no errors. You'll also see graphs here, so that's another part of the reports. It'll also talk about the different recipient zones, whether it was local or as you can see, there's zone eight. And then it also lists the different states that you actually sent it over to. So in this case, Hawaii was my most packages of six, Oregon, California, then Washington. I love how they actually show the map as well of the United States of America, and it shows the different states that you actually sent packages over to. Now, if we actually scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the top international countries. So if you actually sent any packages internationally, for example, Canada and so forth, you'll see it there. And last but not least is the transaction history. So this area will allow you to actually export data. There's also a search field where you can actually enter things that you're wanting to search for. For example, a certain package or a person's name and so forth. Now, if you're interested in rocking your own business, please connect with me at shinewithaloha at gmail.com or through Facebook at shinewithaloha or on Instagram at shinewithaloha808. Joining the team is so amazing and fun. We do have three starter kits and the most affordable kit is $99. It'll come with 35 pieces of beautiful bling and all the basics that you need to start your business. You'll also have a free website given by the company and it'll allow you to shop at the wholesale price of $2.75. Not only will you be your own boss, work your own business, have a flexible schedule, earn a 35% commission and shop at the wholesale price, how can you say no? So connect with me if you're interested and I'd be more than willing to answer your questions regarding this business. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and definitely turn that notification bell on so you get notified when I post the next video. So be blessed and don't forget to let God's light and love shine through you. Aloha. Aloha.